Are you an immigrant? And before going to your adopted country or before coming into your adopted country, were there certain experiences that you were curious about having? Hello, I'm Jane. This is Jane Through the Seasons where I share my experiences, perspectives and interests. So I'm reading this book, The Beautiful Things That Heaven Bear. It's by Dino Mangetto. Actually, I have the copy. And it got me thinking about the reason why I came to the United States in the first place. I came here because of education. And I remember when it, it had dawned on me that I was going to New York City and I'll be transferring to the high school here, I became curious about the school system. So first of all, let's talk about the Ghanaian school culture. Let's talk about some aspects of it. Let's talk about the dress code. We had to cut our hair, we had to crop our hair, boys and girls, and it has to be short. Um, no makeup, still I don't wear makeup. I think I've worn makeup about five times. Four of them was for job interviews and I think high school prom I wore makeup. I think that's about it. We had to crop our nails and no polish. As you can see I've kept it up. And then what else? Your shoes had to be polished. I kept a rag in my pocket just for this. And your socks had to be white. So having to wash a bunch of white socks on the weekends was not fun. We had morning assemblies uh, where we sang hymns, uh, we sang the national anthem, we said uh, morning prayers and there was announcements. Um, but also, Let's see, there was uh, inspections. So inspections basically check the dress codes and if your hair is not proper, you get punished. If your uniform is not proper, you get you punished. And you're standing on dusty grounds, but if your shoe is dusty, you get punished. So I used to have a rug for my shoe and my socks. I had white socks just for morning assemblies. You don't want to skip morning assembly, even though there are so many reasons why you would want to skip it, you don't, because it's very difficult to do so. If you get caught, you scrub the toilet after school, and it's so dangerous. <laughs> I only skipped morning assemblies when I was in junior high school, and I only did it over three times, and the entire time I was like, it was an incredible experience and it was so frightening and you had to hide under a desk at the back of the classroom and the privates go into each class to make sure that nobody is in there and you have to basically hide from them and they know how to hide so you have to be careful. In uh, senior high school, it never crossed my mind to skip because if you skip on um, morning assemblies and you get caught, you kneel in front of the headmaster's office. The headmaster is the principal. So you kneel in front of the headmaster's office and it's on the same path that the entire school takes to go to class and they take to go to the dining hall. So you will be there for a significant amount of time and it's very likely that the entire school is going to witness you there kneeling down with your hands in the air and it's so embarrassing. <laughs> so let's talk about other things. So for the class, we had three terms a semester. Uh, we had three terms a year. I think it's two semesters here. And then you have the same classmates, and you basically have been carrying this classmate throughout the years. Um, you have the same desk mate for the entire year, and when you're advanced, you go with this whole class. So if you get left behind, your juniors are going to come find you in the same classroom. And if, like everybody else who have advanced, you know that you got left behind because now you, your classmates, your peers are now your seniors and you are their junior. So it's really difficult. Yeah, so I was looking forward to the American high school system where no uniforms, I don't have to do morning inspections and I uh, don't have to worry about my hair. And it was interesting. High school here was a very interesting experience for me. Um, Looking back, they both have their advantages and disadvantages. But I find that my fond memories of the Ghanaian school culture I had. And I didn't only really finish high school here. I also went to university here in New York City. And um, I went to, my grad school program was in the city. So, actually, it was in Brooklyn. So I have a certain um, degree of experience in the American school system. 
there is more camaraderie in the Ghanaian school culture and also because the school is so strict you're basically uh, forced to maintain a certain degree of self-discipline and this self-discipline has been with me um, throughout and I think it has allowed me to be successful in different environment so I owe a lot to that school system yeah, despite the fact that it was crazy. So, yeah, it's your turn now. Were there certain experiences you were very excited about? And are you, at present, somewhat disillusioned? Uh, please let me know in the comment section. And please look in the description box for complimentary materials for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.